Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about mid-range absorption rates and levels. Now, a lot of people out there confuse noise with music and voice, and they're drastically different. The frequency range of most is different, especially with noise versus music and voice. So that simple thing alone should tell us that, okay, since music and voice are different, the noise, maybe we should use different technologies to deal with their usage, okay? Most products in the marketplace today that I see focus on noise. They try to get as much absorption in the mid-range as possible. Building insulation is a good example. It should never be used for music and voice to begin with, but it's been perverted by the industry over decades probably uh, to convince people that, well, it's a cheap way to absorb energy. Yes, it absorbs energy, it's also very toxic, and it also overabsorbs. There isn't a day go by, I don't get a call from someone, said, well, I use this Roxel 703 or this 706 or whatever the numbers are behind the product, my room sounds too dead. Well, that's because you used a noise technology, not a technology for music and voice, okay? Music and voice requires different rates and levels. Human hearing demands different rates and levels because it's real easy for human hearing to recognize overabsorption. okay? So if we're gonna be using our ears to listen to music and voice, then we better have a technology that's conducive to our hearing structure, okay? We don't want overabsorption. Once you overabsorb, once you absorb any energy in the audio world, it's converted to heat and lost forever. This is why diffusion is very popular, so you have to be really careful here. We use absorption to get our definition and separation, then we use diffusion to expand upon that, spread it out, add some definition and separation to it. So our foam example, let's use some of our foam. Our foam technology goes from 125 to 500. It goes past that, but let's focus on this region here. Most products in the marketplace try to get the most they can from 125 to 500. That's not the goal. The goal is a nice, smooth, linear response. And you can see by this curve that we're showing you right now how smooth it is. So even at the 100, 125 cycle range, it begins and ends smoothly at the 500 range. Anybody can absorb anything over five, 500 cycles. You can use a blanket to do that, okay? But it's this 125 to 500 that's critical for human hearing. So the products we use to absorb that energy have to correspond with those frequency ranges. Linearity in curves. Not taking too much out of one spot, not taking too much out of another. It's got to be a nice, smooth transition because the ear can pick up quarter dB, half dB. can pick up a dB for sure. If you're more critically inclined with your listening skills, you can hear small variances. And it's the small variances in treatment that make the difference between a good sounding room and one that's not. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.